Hello everyone. This is a small macro on pulling information from MS SQL Server with information based in MS Outlook emails. So the example here is we have emails containing phone numbers of our contacts and those contacts are stored in the MS SQL Server database. We are trying to connect to the MS SQL Server via MS Outlook using VBA backend. We will connect to the SQL Server and we will extract information relating to the phone numbers like email IDs, gender of the contacts and the first name of the contact, last name of the contact. So we are going to pull all the information about the contacts basing on the phone numbers in the email subjects. So as you can see before you on the screen, those are four steps. First step is obviously it should extract the, the phone numbers from the subject. So basing on these phone numbers in the subject, we will try to extract uh, other details of the contacts in the MS SQL Server database. So that is the first step. It will extract all the phone numbers from the subject and it will load on to the list view. So coming to the second step, it will query the database with uh, all the phone numbers stored in a string. The SQL statement is also stored as a string in the VBA and it will query the database. A result of a query would be a record set. Uh, that record set uh, stored onto an array. So by the end of the second step, you have uh, two things in your hands. First is the list view loaded with the phone numbers and the second is the array loaded with all the contacts information from the SQL Server database. Next task is to loop through all the phone numbers in the list view of user form, find related phone numbers in the array and thereby pull the corresponding email IDs, first names, last names. That's what it does. So that's what the step three talks about. Loop through all the sub items in the list view to find related elements in an array and populate information onto the list view. And with that third step is done and moving on to the fourth step it is actually a accessory kind of a thing but anyway it is an additional functionality like copying the entire list view items onto the clipboard so that was an overview of the macro what it does and the brief explanation processing speed let's check it out for ourselves we'll just have a demo of uh, how the macro works how the look and feel of as I've already told you, these are all the emails that I've just created. The first thing that a user of this macro should do is he has to select all the emails. So when I click uh, this button, the macro is triggered and uh, a user form is popped up as you can see, loaded with uh, five columns, mail sent by phone number, email ID, email, employee number. So the first three columns are dedicated to information from the Outlook, gender name, phone number, email date and finally there are uh, two columns email. So when I hit pull and query simultaneously pulls information from the email items and uh, at the same time it will query the SQL database basing on the phone numbers in the subject. Right after hitting that it will take a while it has extracted and it has queried and let's just verify if this information is correct. Let's check our database. So you can see contacts table in MS SQL Server database. And you can see that the phone numbers as available on the list view are also available in the database. And also you can uh, see that the email ID and the name are relating to the phone number. So this is about the verification and uh, the macro fairly does a good job. And the additional functionality added here is to copy to a clipboard done copy to clipboard so the uh, entire data on the list view all the sub items information is copied into the clipboard paste it into the application that you want to so yes this is about the macro its functionalities its look and feel if you have any questions please leave those in the comments below thanks for uh, watching this video